Yo, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can program your back paddles on your DualSense Edge wireless controller. Now, yes, you might think, oh, can I do this wireless? You will not be able to do this wireless. You will have to have it plugged into your PC. But honestly, your controller runs better if it's plugged into your PC than Bluetooth. That's what I find to be. But I understand, yes, I've been going for eight months. Yeah, in that eight months, there's been a lot going on. Like, I mean a lot, more than my last break. And I'm really sorry about that. But yes, I had enough money to buy myself a PC. Yes, so I'm back. And I might be making Fortnite content, I don't know yet. But today, this is just a simple video on um, how to program your back paddles. So basically, what you want to do is you want to go to Google Chrome. You want to type in DS4 Windows. I will be leaving this link in the description below so you don't really have to come to your browser if you don't want to. So basically, it'll be on GitHub. It'll be by this guy right here. Shout out to him. Um, basically, it'll pop up with this window. You just want to scroll down. And you'll see downloads, main builds of DS4 Windows. You want to click on that. Basically, this is the latest version. You want to scroll down till you find DS4 Windows. You want to download the 64.zip one right here. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to download it again. So after you get that, you should um, have it in your download folder right here. So... I highly suggest one more for this. You do not have to download it. I'm just suggesting this. But after you extract it, it'll come up with a folder um, like this. Click, double click DS4 Windows. Basically, you want to click on this one right here. Double click on this one right here. The bluish pink icon right here. This is the application for the actual um, application. So, you can create a shortcut, put it on your desktop, that's what I did. So, I'm just going to double click on it. And basically, it should pop up with a program like this. I've already went through the, all the steps, but basically, it'll pop up with a secondary window right here. And it'll ask you to install the drivers. Make sure you install those drivers for this to be able to work. Do not install the one that says for Windows 7. Do not install that one. Install the ones that say like install drivers and they'll be it'll be on the secondary window just install those restart your computer and you should be good to go so once you get those installed it should pop up with a window like this again make sure your playstation controller is plugged in to your pc now this is for the ps5 dualsense edge wireless controller it can be for any ps5 controller it does not have to be specific for this but i'm showing you guys how to program the back paddles on your controller so, basically, you'll see right here where it says Fortnite Build. That's a um, profile I made that is for, um, like, my Fortnite when I build or play Zero Build. I like a Zero Build one, too. I usually don't play Zero Build, but I will sometimes if I like to. But I usually play Build, but I created a Fortnite Build one. So, basically, um, you might be wondering how to create a profile. So basically what you want to do is you want to go up here to profiles. You want to hit new. And it will pop up with this window right here. Do you want to use a preset option? You click yes. Don't click no. It will start. There will be no buttons programmed. So I suggest pressing yes. Make sure it's on gamepad and make sure it's on Xbox 360. Because most PC games are Xbox related controllers. Hit apply. It'll program all your buttons. Basically, to get to the back paddles, you want to scroll all the way down. This will be your function left button. So, basically, that's like the, the function button, like as you'd be on an actual uh, PlayStation to switch the pro, uh, profiles. You can make those like something in a game, but I don't do that. I just feel like the paddles are easier. So basically, this would be your left paddle. This would be your right paddle. So if you want to program this, you just double click. It'll pop up with this. You can actually program it to a key bind if you want to, but I just don't suggest doing that. But basically, I want to I make it, 
I want to make it A. Basically, it'll say bottom left paddle, A button. Program your white, you, sorry, your right one. Uh, I want to make it right stick. And basically, it'll make it right stick. After that, you can hit save. Or what I like, what I did was I went to the light bar and changed my color of my light bar, which I think is a cool feature for this. And you can change it to whatever color you want. And basically, that'll save it. Uh, that'll save the color on your controller. Once you do that, type in a name. I'll just say test two and hit save. It'll bring you back to this screen. Hit this drop down menu. Hit test two and it'll be the uh, one we just made. It'll be the one you just made. I have multiple because I've been doing this, but if it's, since it's your first time, you only have one. So if you want to ever edit it again, you can either hit here or go back to profiles and select your profile from here and hit edit. But if you want to go it, if you want to do it from this screen, make sure it's on your profile you want to edit and then just hit edit. And uh, yeah, that's how you get how that's how you program your back paddles on your DualSense Edge wireless controller. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you boys in the next one. Peace out. I said, girl, why you keep calling? I said, girl, why you keep calling? Yeah. She said, I need a new whip. Yeah. Cause I know that you're still balling. She just wanna go back to the future. So I brought that girl a DeLorean. 21 minutes until I gotta go. So I told that girl, I'm gonna slaughter this.